Hello? I would have here a lamp. All right. Hi, Bunny. This is Kiki. Hi. Say hi. Say hi to everybody. It's another month. It's another month. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Sparkle You. This is my bunny's butt, and um, I don't know why she's being so rude. Come on, bunny. Oh, okay, bye. I would just like to begin this monthly favorites by saying uh, I'm sorry that I haven't been around the past couple weeks. Things have been very crazy and they're about to get more crazy because I'm going to Japan on Tuesday. That's in a couple days. I'm going on tour for the first time. Um, things have just been ridiculous. I've recorded two new singles. I did a video. Um, I have a lot of things happening right now with my music and if you didn't know I'm a singer and a multi-instrumentalist I have another channel I'll link below you can check it out anyway there's a lot happening so I'm very sorry because I really miss you guys and um, I really have been discovering a lot of new things and I've been very excited about them and I really want to share them with you but I just haven't had the chance to sit down and edit but um the flight to Japan is like 12 hours. Anywho, I love doing favorites. I try to do a theme every month. Last month was my naked favorites. This month, it's gonna be my drugstore favorites. And I'm just gonna preface this video by saying that I freaking love the drugstore. Like, the drugstore is my happy place. Here in Canada, we've got a little, a little spot called Shopper's Drug Mart. I don't know what it is. Ever since I was a kid, I just have loved drugstore makeup, I love the drugstore. I can spend a lot of time in there. If I'm sad, I go. It makes me happy. Can anybody relate to this? Let me know in the comments. This month, I have been loving a lot of things from the drugstore, so I figured I would do a video and kind of like theme my monthly favorites as a drugstore favorites video. I hope that you guys are cool with that. Let's get started because God knows I've got a lot of things to talk about. My first favorite is this. This is from NYX. I'm very happy that Shoppers Drug Mart has started to carry NYX products. I'm not sure if this is actually available at Shoppers though, because this is like a special thing. But if you're in Toronto, there are NYX stores opening everywhere and you can get this on the website as well. And if you're from the States, then you know, you can find this at Ulta, I believe. Um, this is their NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette and this is the Brights color. I know that there are a lot of girls that talk about these palettes it's on YouTube. Um, there's a warm browns that seems to be the favorite. There's a cool one. There's a smoky one as well. Um, they always get to the brights one and they're like, um, I don't know. But I will tell you right now, this is amazing for doing colored eyebrows. If you would like to experiment with pink or purple or blue or teal or yellow eyebrows, I suggest you pick this up. They're very pigmented shadows. They're not like the creamiest, butteriest shadows in the world, but hey, you get 16 of them for like $20, so that's pretty awesome. You know, you don't have to put them in your eyebrows, of course, you can use them as eyeshadows as well. And if you're wondering like how you could possibly do this without it being crazy, um, if you just use like a nice white eyeshadow on your lid, on the brow bone, and you just stick one of these like very, you know subtly in the crease and do a kind of little cut crease or just like put it on the edge use it for a liner there are so many ways of using these bright colors to add something cool to your look even if the rest of it's neutral and it doesn't have to be like you know a rainbow threw up on your face this is exciting to me this is the maybelline superstay better skin skin transforming powder and this is a powder from the drugstore if I open it up, you can see it's got a nice big mirror. Um, it comes with a little sponge, which I don't really like, but I've got sponges from MAC that I use with this powder or just a brush, obviously. Okay, it's really hard to find a good powder at the drugstore. I have heard recommendations for a ton of them and they all suck, so sorry, no offense. If you like any of them, that's great, that's awesome. I've not found one that I really like. Like There are some that are all right, that Maybelline Fit Me powder, it's all right. Is it my favorite? No. This one I actually reach for over high-end powders, so I feel like that's great. It's got salicylic acid in it, um, bunny fur, which uh, is 
possibly cool. The only thing about this that I will say for my fair girls is that I've got number 10 porcelain and this is too dark for me. A little bit, a smidge. So um, it's all right, I can live with it, but um, it's, yeah, this is the lightest one. This is not porcelain, I mean, it's not. So if you're anywhere like, you know, deeper than ghost, I would say this is great, you should check it out. Another face product, this. <sighs> this smells like suntan lotion. I, I'm not sure about this whole scented makeup trend, which it seems to be a trend because there's like Too Faced and the chocolate bar and then there's this butter bronzer from Physicians Formula that I got because I just kept on hearing people talk about it and I was like, mm, I don't really get down with the bronzer because I am quite fair. A lot of the time it looks like I just have dirt on my face. It's terrible. It's awful. I am scared of bronzer, but this one, I just smelled it and I was like, I don't know, even if I don't like this for my face, I'll just put it other places. But it turns out that this is actually really nice and um, I got it in light and it actually is warm enough that it doesn't look like I've got dirt on my face. And uh, it, it's not like glowy, it's a nice sheen. It's like, it's just so pretty. I love this. I can't believe I love a bronzer. That's crazy to me. And also, it does smell like pina coladas. So if you're into you know smearing pineapple and coconut on your face, then definitely give this a go. But seriously, it's really good. This is a primer from Maybelline. It's the Master Prime by Face Studio Blur Plus Illuminate Primer. I've also never found a primer that I like at the drugstore. I just haven't. I've tried that Nivea for Men aftershave thing. It's okay. It didn't do anything really that I could notice, but I mean, you know, it wasn't, didn't do anything horrible either. So this is actually really pretty. It's pink. It's like a bit silicone-y, but you know, I think that that's probably good for the summer. And I really, really do like this. So if you are looking for a drugstore primer, check this one out. And I've been using it in combo with my next favorite, which is this infallible Pro Glow 24 hour L'Oreal Paris radiant finish foundation. There is a infallible pro matte foundation that came out last year that everybody was just like freaking out about and I bought it and that I just cannot get down with that foundation. I've tried so many times. I've tried mixing it with things. I've tried so many things because I wanted to like it so so badly and the thing is that when I first put it on it looks great. It looks awesome. However, every single time I wear it about three or four hours later it separates and it's awful. It's awful. No other foundation does that to me and I don't know what it is. And I was like, I just, I've honestly tried everything. Different primers, different setting powders, different concealers, different everything. It just is not my friend, okay? This guy, on the other hand, is so good to me. I don't know what it is. It's not super high coverage. It says that it's medium, I believe. I find it, you know, pretty accurately a medium coverage foundation, light to medium, but buildable. It's got such a nice finish and it plays very nicely with this guy. It doesn't separate or do anything weird and it lasts for a really long time and it's the summer. And I find that when you sweat with this, it's like it sweats, gets a little bit shiny and then it just like goes back to its, you know, original state as opposed to like sweating, getting weird, crumbling off, separating, making you look like, you know, crap, basically. Basically, there's no other word for it. So I really like that foundation. I really do. It's worth the hype. Somebody was talking about this essence. It's in number 19, it's an eyeshadow, and it's called the Grammy Glows, the, this is really hard to say. The Grammy Goes Glammy. It is like an awesome highlighter. I wear it on my eyes as well, but like as a highlighter, this is, bomb this is really really good and i think this costs three dollars so i'm like yep it looks like crap right now it is so dirty and like you know well well loved as they say but it's so beautiful and just the sheen is epic it blends into your skin 
it just is gorgeous and I'm like yeah they don't even market these as highlighters but they definitely definitely work and they're beautiful these are the essence liquid lipsticks and I cannot tell you what colors these are in because it's really annoying like they put the name on the sticker and I took off the sticker obviously to use them and now they have no sticker and I can't tell you but it's like the dusty pink color and then this corally color that I have but I've heard that they're all good um, these are liquid lipsticks not in the sense of like a liquid lipstick that dries down matte that doesn't transfer etc these are liquid lipsticks in the sense that they're liquid and they're lipsticks they're kind of like the Maybelline color elixirs if you guys had this little doe foot applicator liquid in the tube and these are just so good they're so shiny and the colors are so nice and the like they they are somewhat long lasting i mean not long lasting long lasting and they transfer like crazy but i mean they're about three or four dollars and they're just great so um don't expect this to be liquid lipstick you will be disappointed but if you're just looking for an awesome lip product that is very comfortable very buttery very glossy very beautiful then definitely give these a go so uh, you might have heard that NYX is about to come out with metallic lipsticks, uh, lip lingeries, and metallic lips are all the rage at the moment. Um, however, I have heard from good sources close to the NYX store, <laughs> slash inside the NYX store, that while you're waiting for those metallic lip lingeries, you can use the lid lingeries over top of your lipsticks or liquid lipsticks and these will give you a metallic look but you know they're not necessarily meant to be lipsticks but they look amazing I saw a girl today and she was wearing black lipstick uh, I think it was the NYX liquid suede the black one and then she had the um, silver one of these lid lingeries over top and it looked like that Kylie black and sparkly lip kit you know which one I'm talking about um, it looks beautiful and she said that she also uses this rose pearl one over nudes and it looks awesome so I would say pick these up and transform any lipstick into a metallic lipstick and um, they don't transfer they stay put they are really really good and you know as a plus you can use them on your eyes um, <laughs> they also work very well as a base for your eyeshadow or um, I even put the white one on my face as a highlight um, I really like these so they're very multi-purpose and definitely a fave I have to shout out another NYX product because I have been using these a lot, the NYX Vivid Brights. I have talked about these before a couple times, but I just really love them. And I've especially been loving the blue. I'm wearing the purple one now. I really love the purple one too, but I mix it with the blue sometimes and do an ombre. This blue looks kick ass if you've got a hot pink um, lipstick and you don't have rainbow hair because I find that if I do like the blue on my eyes, the pink on my lips, the rainbow in my hair, it is insane. But when I see somebody with like blonde hair, brown hair doing the blue eyeliner, hot pink lips thing, I swoon. It's amazing. These are super pigmented. They're very bright. They last really well. Um, it's a brush applicator like so. I find them very easy to use and to work with and I really like these things and these are available at Shoppers Drug Mart. Some of the colors I will warn you are not as bright as you think that they will be, but this blue, which is called Vivid Sapphire, and the purple, like the dark purple, which I believe is called Amethyst, those are both really, really good. A nice hot pink lip, speaking of that, is this Revlon Color Burst Lacquer Balm, which is in the color 110 Coquette. I love this for that ombre lip thing, which is basically like, if you put concealer foundation around your lips and then put on a nude lipstick if you feel like it and then apply this in the center of your lips um, 
Sometimes this is called like popsicle lips, but it's also like an ombre lip and it's very popular in Korea. I think that's where the trend started. Anyway, this is like a really nice hot pink, very glossy, very easy to use, very flattering color and I love it. Like it's one of those things that I just kind of rediscovered this month in my collection. I was like, yeah, this is great. And sometimes I combine this with the orange one and I kind of put the orange one around the edges of my lips and I put this one in the middle and it looks so cool. So yeah, try that out. It's very, very nice. And this one smells like mint, so refreshing. Now, I would just like to mention a couple unfavorites because I never do this, but I just feel like I need to warn you. I need to warn you about this NYC high definition liquid eyeliner because this is one of the worst eyeliners I've ever used. And I thought, you know, the NYC liquid liner that comes in the little like, um, twisty thing, um, is so good. Like the non pen, Form, the brush form it's great it's really really good so I was like oh this will probably be good too no it's not it's terrible it's like weak it's weak it's almost gray it drags it oh just, this thing made me late it was terrible and I have been wanting to throw it out but I was like no I'll wait until I do a favorites video and I'll tell people in the unfavored section to avoid this all right, so those were my monthly drugstore favorites. Please subscribe if you're not already. It's really nice to see you guys. I'm so happy to be here talking with you about makeup and fun drugstore things that, you know, make me happy and um, a bit less anxious because when I think about that plane ride though, I'm like, I need to have things to entertain me. So hopefully um, I'll be editing videos for you guys and that will make me happy. So have a great week, stay weird, have fun, be yourself, and um, I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.